So basically, all of my life, I had believed that God would never give me more than I could handle. And I believed this because that's what people in my church had told me. And as I got to be older, I got to be a teenager, and I started, you know, feeling at things. I was like, wait, 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 wait. What the heck? I thought God wouldn't give me more than I could handle, so why am I failing at this thing? And I remember going to a Bible study once when I was in my late teens, and I asked the Bible study leader that. I'm like, okay, okay, if God won't give me more than I could handle, then how come I, I had this thing that needed to be done and I failed at it? How come people get diseases and not to be too morbid, but it kills them like physically their their body could not handle that disease how, how can we say that god won't give us more than we can handle when the evidence suggests otherwise he said to me well because kristen that's not actually what the bible says <sighs> mind blown so this whole idea that god won't give us more than we can handle i believe this comes from two scriptures uh, the first being 1 Corinthians 10.13, which is the verse of the Bible that says, uh, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. When you are tempted, he will provide a way out so you can endure it. This verse is talking specifically about temptation and fleeing from temptation. Uh, but the other verse of the Bible, which we, we've talked about this before, is Philippians 4.13, which that is the verse of the Bible that says, I can do all this through Christ who gives me strength. But if we read that verse in context, like if you literally just jump back one verse, the Apostle Paul is, is saying how, you know, he's had a lot, he's had a little, he's been in good times and bad times, and he's learned the secret of being content. And he can be content because of Christ who gives him strength. So he's not suggesting that we are limitless, that, you know, whatever is put in front of us, like we can conquer it, like we have no limitations, we can just do anything. No. I kind of sort of believe that this whole idea is somewhat connected to the prosperity gospel. The, the whole idea that like when we become saved, we become like these mini gods. That's not what being an image bearer means. It doesn't mean that we now have the capabilities of God. We are not all powerful. We are not all knowing. We are human. We have limitations. The reality is you will, I promise you, you will face things that you just can't do. You can't take them on. They are more than you can bear. But the good news is, you don't have to go through this stuff by yourself. God is with you. And because we have Christ, we have this hope and we can get through even the crappiest of situations because of Christ. There, there's nothing biblically to suggest that whatever is put in front of us, we're going to be able to do it. Like I said, we have limitations, we have restrictions because we're human. But we can face even the most challenging times because of Jesus. Oh.